In this short video, we are going to show you how to annotate the structural diagram, which can be used for viewing the result values on screen. After you've analyzed your model, you're going to now proceed to the post-processing mode. Now the first step for annotating the structural diagram is to select the load case you're interested in. For this exercise, we'll go ahead and select the live load case. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to evoke the annotate command. So in the results tab in the ribbon toolbar, I'm now going to click on the annotate icon. Now here we're going to see several different tabs at the top of this dialog. The first tab is the ranges tab, which is used to select which beams or nodes will have their results displayed. Now you could display all the information. You could select certain groups or certain members of a particular property. If you've already created some saved views, you can also select to view this information on one of your saved views. For this model, I'm going to go ahead and select all of the members with the 12 by 19 property. Next, let's go ahead and select the next tab. This is our beam results. This will be used to select which types of results will be displayed for your beams. So let's go ahead for this one, and I want to see the maximum result in displacement, for example. Let's go ahead and proceed to the next tab, just so we can review the other types of pieces of information. Now, in the Node tab, you're going to see that this will be used to select the global direction for which nodal displacements will be displayed. And we also have a reactions area, which is used to select the degrees of freedom for which the reactions will be displayed. Now, if we selected all the options we want to see, we can just go ahead and click on the annotate icon. So you can see that the maximum relative displacement for each of the members that I've selected has now been displayed. Now, let's go ahead and take this a step further, because perhaps we might want to customize how this information is being displayed. So we can also control our node or our member labels by clicking on the View tab in the Ribbon toolbar. And we're going to select our Display Options. Now here you can control several different things like size of font, color of font, um, the alignment that the font's going to be used. I can also control the structural units and how things are being displayed. Right now, we're taking a look at displacement, and we're seeing three decimal places. Say, for example, I wanted to shrink this down to, let's go with two decimal places. Let's go ahead and click Apply, and you can see how easy it is to control the information on your screen. Now, if you want to turn this information off, or if you want to see something else, we're going to go to the Results tab in the Ribbon Toolbar, click on the Annotate icon, you can change whatever information, or if you want to remove it, we'll just click Remove All. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.